So I think some of the recent um, uh, high profile campaigns have really awoken some of the, the local markets here in, in Europe and, and the players and the companies. There was a perceived wall that I think stood around certain jurisdictions and some of these attacks on high profile iconic companies have broken down those walls uh, and any perceived uh, barrier to, to activism. Not only that, they've really raised the bar for what is expected of companies uh, and, and pushing them to do more do it faster and drive more shareholder value uh, in a shorter timeline. The last thing uh, is really it's shown that, that the global shareholder base is taking its, its role across the globe very seriously and is becoming uh, more engaged. Um, you're, you're seeing them more willing to, to vote and support activists, uh, not just in the US, uh, but throughout Europe uh, in some of these situations. Yeah, certainly. Um, we feel it in the engagements and the, the discussions we have with companies and boards uh, today. There's a different attitude. It's not like it was in 2015. Um, today, there is a, a heightened awareness of, of the, the risk of activism, uh, a, a increased desire to be more prepared and do what, they, what might help them prevent uh, an activist attack. Uh, as well as just an understanding that this is going to be part of the corporate landscape going forward and that activism, engaged shareholders, aggressive and vocal shareholders is going to be part of what every company in the U.S. and Europe uh, needs to be prepared to, to uh, address going forward. I think it's less about being prepared uh, because you can be prepared, uh, but even companies that are prepared uh, find themselves subject to an activist campaign. It's really about getting out, engaging with your shareholders and understanding the shareholder sentiment that's there. And, and the reason why that's so critical is it's not the 2% stake that an activist holds that gives them power. It's their ability to gain the support of the other 98% and to tell their story. So what does that mean for the companies today, both in the US and in Europe? There's uh, more pressure on them to tell their story, to be clear, to make sure that the expectations and uh, internal uh, uh, projections and, and uh, expectations of management and the board are mirrored in their shareholder base and there, aren't, there isn't a disconnect between what the company believes it should be doing and what it will be doing and what shareholders expect.